What's up everyone, this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say on these videos, I'm just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only. Want to jump in today and see how y'all doing. Um, <clears throat> been a little busy this morning, trying to handle some stuff. But, um, so, yeah, I, I posted a picture about how, uh, you know, obviously, or not obviously, a broker had hired like 1,700 influencers and people to go online and, and uh, you know, try to sway you one way or another the thing that we always tinfoil hat people think we're crazy it's been confirmed um there's an article i'll post a link here shortly but um i really want to jump in because you know we talk about amc hitting the moon i don't really say the moon no more i'm not really trying to be like that so i'm kind of impartial i'm like half and half i'm, I'm you know i've got that mix of of Yes, we can mow ass and hit gigantic numbers, and damn, when are they ever going to let this thing run? So, um, if they ever will, and is it going to happen? When's it going to happen? Um, so, I look at it this way. I don't plan on, on selling any of my AMC shares. I'm holding on to them for life, unless it does hit some crazy gigantic numbers, or we go to a few years down the road, and I can just see that it's off the table. There's no way possible. And at that point, you know, either I pull out some profit or I just leave it long term and pull out later down the road when I feel like it's a good time. Um, and some people are going to say, well, what happens if AMC goes bankrupt? Then AMC goes bankrupt and I lose my investment. <laughs> That's the name of the game. It's the nature of the beast. It's what you come in the stock market for. You you win some, you lose some. So um, I'm going to continue to win on other plays. Um, and I don't anticipate. I, I just don't see that as a possibility. I do think that they're going to run AMC down, though. I think this week... Or this coming week, I think there's a possibility we get down to like all new time lows. Um, trying to shake this shit up, trying to shake people out. Um, I do think that we could get down to like around at three fifty, three dollars and fifty, uh, or whatever the all time low is at this point. I think we could go slightly under that. I don't think it'll last too long. I think we start moving back up, but I do think that we're gonna say, you know, we're gonna be sitting around that three dollar to six dollar range for a while. Um, it's just where they're comfortable with it. Um, the good thing about that for me is it's so low that I'm able to average down easier. I'm able to add more shares, and um, it is what it is. I know that some people think I'm crazy for it, but it's what I'm doing, and it's what I'm going to continue to do. Nothing's changed for me. The DD is still the same. I mean, there's new stuff that comes out all the time that, that re-encourages um, me. Um, so... And like I said, I've, I've got my mind set on something. I'm going to stick to it. If anything crazy were to happen, I would alert and say, hey, man, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move here. I'm going to move there. Um, but until then, I'm still adding, averaging down. Um, I do think that I'm probably going to only average down uh, a little. Uh, okay, so I'm around 1,000 shares now. Um, I want to average. I want to get up to about 3,000 total shares. At that point, I'll probably be done buying. I'll just hold. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just an addiction at this point. So we'll see. Um, other than that, uh, you know, there's other plays there's, uh, Oh, Reddit came out today. Um, I know a lot of people think it's crazy to buy that and it's probably going to go up down. I mean, obviously the shorts probably aren't going to want Reddit to run just because if you don't know the history, um, you know, people were on Reddit, wall street bets. Um, and that's what kind of, um, helped trigger people buying into GME and causing that squeeze and uh, yeah, it's a whole a whole thing. I, I think most of you know that. Um, so with that being said, I think, um, you know, I think I'm going to buy into it. Why not? You know what I mean? Um, I've made a killing off of crypto this last couple weeks. You know, there's only one. Every time I ever sell Bitcoin, it's like the, always the one I always regret, no matter what. I always sell it, and it's like, oh, cool, I made $500. Oh, cool, I made $300. And all of a sudden, it's like, it's going to, don't worry, it's going to track down, I'm thinking. And it never does. Last time I sold it like 51000 I was like, oh, it's going to come back down. This time I sold it like $65,000. Oh, my God, it'll probably come down to fifty soon. <laughs> and now I'm sitting at like point zero zero nine um Bitcoin, and I'm like, oh, what happened? So I'm going to hold on to those. Um, I do think eventually it'll come back down. I don't think it'll stay up there forever. It's just like last time when it hit like 62,000 and everyone's like, ah, and then it came down to like 13. That's when I went really heavy. I mean, my average was like 14,000 in Bitcoin for the longest time. And then I started averaging up, averaging up. Um, so I think I'll wait, you know, hold off for a while. Um, that was hard because I don't like buying right now because it's just making my average go way up compared to where it's at. I think my average now is like, 
I don't know, like 24,000, something like that. So if it comes down to like 40 at some point, I'll probably buy back in. Um, I do think it could come back down to like 55, 50 in the you know next month or two. Um, but you know, in the next few months, if it comes down to like that 40, 30 range, I'll definitely buy in. I know there's gonna be people coming in and saying it's never gonna do that, but in my opinion, it probably will. Um, and then it'll shoot back up. I know the halving's coming, and I feel like people get like some sort of confusion out of that. Like it's just gonna suddenly turn it into a million dollar coin, which hey man, anything's possible. But I do think that at this point, after the halving, it's probably gonna go down before it goes up. So this is my opinion. Don't make any uh, strategy based off of what I'm doing because, hey, like I said, with Bitcoin, I've been wrong several times. I'm beating myself up over it because if I would have just held, 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 held and sold it like the 67000 you know, I would have been much better off. But see, and the thing that kind of bothers me is I told myself I'm treating, I was supposed to be treating it like an index fund. I had no discipline in Bitcoin, but I was supposed to be treating it like an index fund, like I'm just adding, 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 adding for the next 10, 20 years and I just can't help myself. So many freaking... Profits and crypto, it's just, it's just crazy, man. There's so many profits to pull and some sort of uncertainty what, what could happen if it ever gets regulated. So at this point, I'm pulling profits. Um, I've been lucky. You know, I wouldn't know if I'd call it luck. I, I've, I've watched it and learned um, how it kind of tracks. So I've been lucky to buy low and sell high several times with crypto. And I'm going to continue to do that until I, I, I guess I just can't no more. So um, it's definitely keeping me alive. Um, the stock market... Uh, it's kind of similar, but I don't do as well with the market as I have been with crypto because crypto has been like, you know, 50%, 100% gains, you know, and with, with the stock market, I'm happy if I get a 15% gain, I'm like, cool, pull that out. You know, with crypto, it's like 15% and wait till it gets to 70%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put the monocle on. <laughs> All right, man. That's just my thoughts for the day. Have a good day. Be blessed. And let's get rid of soon. Peace.